Hey guys, Scott Kelby here from Lightroom Killer Tips and Kelby1.com and pretty interesting discovery here. So we're here in Lightroom. I have three bracketed images. This is the normal exposure. Here's two stops under and two stops over. So this is an interesting kind of HDR thing and I'm going to just jump over to Photoshop and show you the before and after. So here's the thing. I'm going to zoom in really tight. And this is we're going to go up to like 300% or 200% or something crazy. We're at 200%, so it's kind of, you know, pixelated and stuff. 300%. But I want to show you this. Look at the difference. So here's our image, right? And then here's the blurrier, softer version, right? So, I mean, it's, it's pretty bad. You look at that. All the detail in the face is lost and stuff. And on the other one, you can see that there's eyes and a nose and stuff. I mean, it's there. there's a pretty serious loss of quality here and the difference is is one of these is done using photoshop's pro hdr that's the sharper sh the sharper it's the sh it's the sharper one it's the sharper uh, more color accurate version and then there's this soft kind of slightly blurry and not awesome version which is the one done in lightroom's hdr but it's a particular technique i want to show you but it's it's that's pretty that's pretty pretty big difference that's like night and day, all right? So that's that's pretty uh, pretty significant difference in sharpness there. So here's how you do it. Starting in Lightroom, you would select the three images that you want to combine. You're going to right click, go to edit in from the pop-up menu that appears, and you're going to choose all the way down here at the bottom, merge to HDR Pro in Photoshop. Now, when you choose that, it'll take a moment to take the raw images and get them over. And so you'll see here it's opening the images one by one inside of Photoshop. So here comes the three images and then it brings up the HDR Pro window. Now, normally HDR Pro you probably think of would, would be where you go to get that tone mapped Harry Potter looking thing, but we're not going to do that. When it comes up, you're going to go over here to where it says mode 16 bit. The secret to this trick is to change it to 32 bit. And then you don't have anything to do, no sliders, don't touch anything, just go over here to, you'll notice it doesn't say okay, it says tone in ACR. So what it's gonna do is it's basically gonna bring up what is the develop module of Lightroom, it's Adobe's Camera Raw, and you'll see in a second, it's the same sliders in the same order that do the same thing. So you'll do your initial toning here instead of in Lightroom's develop module, but it's the same, it's exactly the same, it's the same sliders, they do the same stuff, so. Don't let it freak you out that it's it's inside of Photoshop here. All right, so here's the image, right? And so we're going to go in here, and you would do whatever that you would do to it. So, you know, you can really open up the shadows with an HDR. That's one of the big advantages to HDR. You can open up the shadows and increase the exposure and stuff without damaging the photo. It's really pretty good here. Let's set the whites and the blacks, and let's add some clarity and do, you know, I don't know, whatever you want to do. But that's it. When you're done, click OK, and it's going to convert that 32-bit HDR down to 16-bit. Now, at this point, you know, once you've done your toning, you can just save and close. Just save and close, right? Command S, Command W, and go back to Lightroom, and it will have brought this new HDR back here. And now you can continue and finish your toning and doing whatever you want here. Uh, but it is... Man, this image is super, look how sharp it is. It's just, the sharpness is crazy. That's one to one. And it, it looks like it's been sharpened. It's so crisp and it's like, you almost don't want to sharpen it because it's so sharp, but that's like, it's pretty amazing. Anyway, just wanted to, to pass that on to you guys. I thought that you might find it helpful. I want to invite you guys on Wednesdays at four o'clock, every Wednesday at four, I do a a podcast, a video podcast, and it's called The Grid. And it's a photography talk show, and I have guests, and we do giveaways, and we talk about photography, and we make some lame jokes and stuff. But anyway, uh, I'm going to show you a 30-second uh, clip of The Grid so you can see kind of what it's about, and then I'll talk to you as soon as that that's over. So stick around. Here you go. I'm just going to go for this on the first shot. It's a talk show about photography. I'm ready. Cool Frenchy guy with us. Serge Ramelli. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is so, so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> If I can do it, anybody can do it. Go to that gym. Go to the gym. There's the gym. That's it. Yorkshire Go. Yorkshire Go. We have an entire show just about photography. To me, that's a shebang. The good thing is, now I can stay. I don't have to go home. Right. I'm <laughs> click, 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 click. I do that all the time. Oh, we're getting close. You had me at t-shirt. It's a really cool t-shirt, too.
click. That's all I've got. Awesome. Okay, so that's The Grid, and you can watch it either at kelby1.com slash The Grid, or you can go and watch it at my Facebook page. I, we stream it live there as well, uh, facebook.com slash S-K-E-L-B-Y. So my first initial and last name, it looks like Skelby. And then uh, you can also watch it on YouTube or on Twitter or any of those places if you follow me on social. Well, thanks, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed this little look into the interesting developments in the HDR world. Take care, everybody.